Check this out. The mass of the reactants is the same before the chemical reaction as the mass of the products is after the reaction. How can this be? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Law of Conservation of Mass. The Law of Conservation of Mass states that mass is neither created nor destroyed by chemical reactions. The Law of Conservation of Mass was created in 1789 by a French chemist who discovered that matter cannot be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction. According to the Law of Conservation of Mass, the mass of the products in a chemical reaction must equal the mass of the reactants. When I weighed the reactants, the total mass was 113 grams. When you mix baking soda and vinegar, you get a chemical reaction and gas is produced. After the reaction, the mass of the products is still 113 grams, the same as the mass of the reactants. The mass of the reactants was not created or destroyed, it was merely rearranged. The balanced equation for this reaction is as follows. And you can see that the elements are balanced on both sides of the equation, but also rearranged. So baking soda and vinegar shows the law of conservation of mass at work in everyday life. If you'd like to know more about the law of conservation of mass, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.